So on a dreary Saturday morning, the Philadelphia Eagles have brightened up the mood a little bit. It's week zero of college football, but the Eagles go out and they trade a six-round pick, a conditional six-round pick in 2022 to the Jacksonville Jaguars for Gardner Minshew. So now you've got Gardner Minshew and Joe Flacco and Jalen Hurts on the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Eagles are cutting Nick Mullins to make way for Minshew. The question will be, when do we actually see Minshew in the Philadelphia Eagles uniform? Because obviously he's not going to get time in the preseason to actually play and adjust to the system. He's going to have to do that in practices. And essentially, probably won't be ready to even play until maybe week three, perhaps. It could be sooner. Who knows? I don't know how complicated the system is in Philadelphia or how quickly he'll be able to pick it up. But we saw Minshew have flashes of starting level play in Jackson a lot of times. I don't think he'll ever be like a full-time star over like a span of three or four years in the NFL, but he could certainly be a guy who comes in and has, I don't know, starts in 2022, starts again in 2025, and like has some starting time in 2027. Some guy like who will bounce around the NFL, like a McCown, or maybe, who knows, maybe even a Ryan Fitzpatrick type player who will go around and, you know, I get starting time in a bunch of different places, but never really latch onto one spot and become a full-time starter uh, in a lengthy position. But mention now in Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts, being his primary competition for the starting quarterback job. Joe Flacco is also there, but I think we all understand at this point that Joe Flacco couldn't beat out Sam Darrell in New York last year. He's not going to beat out Jalen Hurts or Gardner Minshew. So Flacco's just there as the veteran backup at this point. Although he'll probably be the quarterback number two for the first three or four weeks of the season as Minshew learns everything in the offense. The question will be, is if Jalen Hurts struggles, Hurts, by the way, who's a lot of backing from the owner and from the GM, by the way, but if Hurts struggles... How quickly do we see Gardner Minshew? You know, wh when do we see Gardner Minshew? Do we see him at all? It's a good question. Uh, again, Hurts is the backing of the owner and the general manager and presumably the head coach because they brought the GM and the, head, the owner of the ones who brought the head coach in. So presumably they have this all planned around Jalen Hurts, who is a, little bit, a very different quarterback than Gardner Minshew, honestly. But Hurts is certainly going to struggle in the past. He didn't have some great plays this past year. Were there moments? Yes. They beat the Saints, I believe, which is a big, a big game for them and that Eagles roster. But I don't really view Jalen Hurts right now as a starting caliber quarterback. I liked him kind of coming out of college. I really think it was a good position he got drafted into, even if Philadelphia being the team that drafted him was a little bit weird. But I do think he was taken at the right spot in the quarterback rankings in his draft class. Well, maybe. Actually, she probably should have gone higher than uh, Jordan Love, but... Nothing I can change about that. So my concerns right now are Jalen Hurts, again, different quarterback than Gardner Minshew. We'll see what happens throughout the year. I think Jalen Hurts is going to have a lot of value for Philadelphia. My concern will be that Minshew is probably a bit of a better passer right now, a, better, a bit of a better pocket passer right now. Hurts, of course, has a lot more agility, a lot more speed. Uh, he's actually pretty difficult to bring down. He's, a good, he's good at breaking tackles as far as quarterbacks go. Uh, we'll see, just see how it plays out. For now, I think Minshew is going to see action at some point this year. It's a 17-game season. I'd be, you know, I'd be surprised if he didn't see action in at least four games. I would think this year at some point. Whether that's because of injuries, because Jalen Hurts gets hurt when he's running the ball or something like that, or just freak injuries. That seems to happen a lot in Philadelphia, by the way. There's always some kind of freak injury in Philadelphia. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen. But in a situation where maybe Jalen Hurts gets hurt, or he's just not performing well, I think we'll see Gardner Minshew eventually, and I think we'll see him probably three or four times this year. Could be more, you never know. But I think this is really going to be a closer quarterback competition than most people expect because Minshew has been a, uh, I would say, I'll say a high floor quarterback to this point in his career. And he's only been in the NFL for like, two years, but so far he's shown that he's got a high floor relative to a lot of our quarterbacks in the league. Uh, whereas Jalen Hurts, we know we really don't know enough about him yet. We saw him what for three and a half games last year, uh, preseason this year. You know, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, I said we'll see how it plays out quite a bit this. Uh, video already but you know Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback I think there's a spot for Jalen Hurts in the NFL I just don't know if it's as a starter at least right now and Minshew again I said I don't know if he's gonna be I don't think he's a long-term starter solution for any team in the NFL but I think he certainly could start in the short term for some team looking to maybe just fill in a year with a decent quarterback who knows the situation filled up again very interesting there's now actually a competitor for Jalen Hurts at the quarterback spot, and we'll see how it plays out throughout the year. But again, I think Minshew's going to see some starting time eventually in this year, probably for three or four games at some point. 
But Jalen Hurts is the guy Philadelphia wanted to build around. So we'll see if they stick with him, and we'll see how far we get into the season before maybe there's a change at the quarterback spot.